This is our first time at TCT, so we brought our 3D printers, our Lulzbot TAS 6 and the Lulzbot Mini. Uh, we're also demonstrating a tool head that we have in development called the Moore Struder. Um, it's got a 1.2 millimeter nozzle, so you can just you can print a ton of material really fast, build bigger, stronger parts. We brought it to TCT because we're really anxious to show it off because we're excited about it, but we have not announced a release date for it yet. Our, our printers are, are well reviewed and highly rated because they're all open source hardware, they run on free software. So that means that our users are able to you know, see how the printer works, download all the design files, modify things, print replacement parts, uh, hack the software if they want. Um, so that's a, that's a really big deal to a certain uh, group of users. Uh, on top of that, both of our printers, the Lulzbot TAS 6 and the Mini, are uh, feature our auto bed leveling. So essentially out of the box to printing is, is a really easy, seamless process. And then we have over 30 materials built into Lulzbot Cured, or Cura Lulzbot Edition, which is our slicing and print software. So people can basically uh, you know, pick their material, pick a print quality, and hit print, and the printer takes care of the rest. Having open source hardware is important to people because people want to know that they own the things that they buy. If you buy, uh, if you buy a printer and then are told, okay, you can print these three materials, then do you really own the printer? I mean, you can, uh, you could argue that, uh, that yes, you do, but we would argue that no, you don't because it's, it's a machine designed to melt and extrude plastic. So if you want to try and print new materials on the market, you should be able to do that. We were really excited to be named uh, number 122 on the Inc. 500 list, and that actually puts us as the number one fastest growing uh, computer hardware manufacturer in the United States, which is like mind blowing. Um, and it's you know it's come from a lot of work, um, both by us and by our community. Uh, but it, yeah, we were thrilled. We brought uh, James Bruton from X Robots uh, to to display in our booth with us, and James builds awesome replicas of robots from from popular culture as well as cosplay costumes. And he uses Lulzbot printers for doing all of his 3D printing for these designs. And a lot of people ask us, well, what are people doing with your printers? James is sort of like the prototypical answer for that because he's doing amazing things. You know, he's building working functional robots with almost entirely 3D printed parts. And uh, people just don't know that that's possible.